Okay. Hey guys, today we'll be showing you how to clean a hamster cage. So we will be changing Snow's first, then Rosie's. This is on the ground. And um, the first thing you will need is um, something to put your hamster in, like a bucket or something else like that. Something that has a lot of room. But pa put paper towels there. Is it the Okay, we're just gonna. That's just um. Just have to put. Well, it. Oh, we I'm have here. a bucket. Well, since I'm here, I can hold it. But we have a bucket right here. Alright. We have a bucket. Right so, okay. Let's turn the cage. Okay, so we're gonna take Snow out. So, we can, he's in his house, but we can take him out because we're gonna be cleaning that. You have to actually clean everything in this cage, including the wheel, because they can have bacteria on them from them running on it. So, yeah, he's gonna come out by himself. So, let me get him. We got snow. Here he is. He is um, a a vinyl hamster, and he's um his own. So then, next, you're gonna take the water bottle off. You're not gonna put soap in that because um it's gonna be hard. So let's just show you what you will need for this. Okay. So okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just put them in here. Okay. So you're gonna need. Let me put this right here. Okay. Sorry, it's hard to hold it. Oh, okay. No, wait, I'll just move this cage. So, what you're gonna need, I have on this table. So, you're gonna need your hamster food or bucket, and you will need their treats. So, I'm just gonna give them one of these. So, we got the festival, Timothy Hay. Wait, 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 wait. The simple rewards, which they really don't like, so I'm just gonna give them half of the heart. Their favorite frosted donuts. One of their favorite two baked pretzels. There's cosmic chewing sticks. Only if they're a little old, like Rosie, because she has that her since a couple of changes. Another favorite yogurt drops. And again, yogurt drops. But you must only give three yogurt drops a day, so I'm gonna give one of these and two. Of them. Okay. Okay. So then you will need bedding. This is for Rosie. Again, we got this from Hamster Hall. And this is for I bought this with my own money. This is a lot of money to confetti, so this was like the same size as that. So this only cost eight twenty nine because um. Uh, it's um, it, it's like smaller paper, so like you can see. I will show you when we clean Rosie's cage. So yeah, this may have two parts because it's gonna be pretty long, and then at this point, I mean, yeah, Rosie's cage takes us forever to clean. So there may be a couple of parts, like two, because um, it takes a couple of minutes to clean the after cage. So I'll be just put Rosie's down. Put the Stuff down. We're good to go. Okay, so now we're gonna clean the cage. Okay, so the first thing I do know again is to take off their water bottle, and you don't need to put soap in it because, like, it can get stuck in there and they can get that in their mouth and die. So, first part is I'm gonna take off the top. But my, some of the cages might not be the same when you do it, so like, I'm we're just showing you the steps what to do, like, to their wheels, like, stuff. Yeah, we're just showing you how like put and how to put, in, right? how much to put in. Like this, this, this. You might not have the same page as me, so don't like. But get frustrated and say I don't have that. Yeah. So then we have that off. The next thing you're gonna do is take the sides off. So he has to well, if your if your sides are on like good, then yeah, we're gonna. Okay, so now we got that off, but we have to take the wheel off and the glitter box. So this is all we have left now. You should have left now. So then. The next thing we'll do is take all their toys out. Because you're going to be dumping the um, bedding, it's the dirty bedding, into the um, garbage can. And you don't want to lose any of their uh, little toys because it's expensive sometimes. Okay, so now you've got everything out. Now I just slap into bedding. So if you want to take out some of their treats that you just gave them today, you could. Right, and also, if your hand says a litter, bo litter box like this, you might want to like, rinse it out good. And like, you also have some If you look, I put... um. Paper towels in mine because, like I say, the bottom of the litter box is kind of hard for mine and it's rough. And so you're gonna need to put some kind of soap in there because you have to get rid of all the bacteria and like scent of the 
So, um, like pee and poop. Okay, so I'm Now we got all the fatty in. Okay? So now it's gonna look like it has like a lot of dust. Fuzzy, dust. Yeah, like dust. But now you're gonna put some soap, a little soap, not a lot. It's like maybe uh, John or like. And by the way, this is for the litter box. Just take a paper towel. You're gonna take some kind of dishwash soap, like Dawn or something. Whatever you have is good, but just don't put a lot in. Right. You just bend it. Here's the so litter box. I'll put this into the litter box like that. Can I show them? So now you're gonna take this. And now you're gonna put like a swiggly. This is watery, so I like, can't. Yeah. And you should just put this much in. It's not a lot. So here is how much I put in. You probably can't see, but that's how much we put in. Not all over the cage, because then you might not get all the studs out. It's a lot of stud books this much. So yeah. So now can you bring it over the cage? Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to wash this. But you have to be in your sink or something. Oh yeah. And by the way, this is the litter box with the paper towels inside it. And I just cleaned it out too. So, so you know. Okay, now... Stephanie, you can Okay. Now, we're going to clean the cage box. Okay? Wait, we'll put the light on. Okay, so now you're going to put hot water, but not really hot so you don't burn your hands. So now, you're going to put the hot water on, and you're going to move it around. And then you'll get all of that food out that was left over. But you don't need to scrub it. You just, like, put it like that. And then... You're gonna let it sit in hot water for about five minutes or so. And while it's sitting, we'll show you how to put the food bowl here. Alright, so this is the food bowl. So, I'm gonna put some of this regular food in it. So, um, you should clean this out too. We have to clean it out first. So, you're just gonna put a little dot in there, not a lot, just like a drop, and then you're done. So, then. Okay. No, it's the dog. So now, keep bring the over. Keep bringing the over. So that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So now you're gonna take the bowl that we just put dog in. It's not a lot. It's not like the whole bowl because that would be really like too much. Okay. So now you're gonna put some hot water. Not that high because it could overflow. Get into that cage, get into the cage. Now you're gonna turn it off when it's like up to the top. You're gonna let that sit for a two, a minute or two. So that's, like, that's pretty much all, like for that first part for the cage. So now you're gonna um, you're gonna now, take out the cage, the little cage. Um, you're gonna take out the cage bottom. Don't put it all out. You should have paper towels too. Okay, so now it's all wet, as you can see, all wet. So you might want to dry it up with a little paper towel or so. Okay, I'll dry it. Now, here's the paper towel. It can also be a bag or napkin, but I would prefer paper towels. Now, and now you're going to take some, not that much, and just clean it out. Just dry it out a little bit. Okay. And then clean it up. You have to let it get all everything out because the sides could actually harm make them. the wedding more. Yeah. Like make the wet bedding wet. You have to do one more. So here's the bedding. Oh, you put it on. It's a little wet. I get my paper towel. Oh, it's right here. It's a little bit wet though, so we're just gonna. So there is gonna be a part two because this is pretty wet. Or a part three because again, we hope you watch our video and please get it out to everyone. That would make you extra good. Cause we we do sub for sub, we'll sub for you. If you sub for us. Alright, that looks good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the bedding in. This is what bedding I use. Character. It's it the best. Confetti. We did have to hold it today. This is it that we're using. Okay, so you're gonna move all your like suds and stuff to toys so they do not get wet. Cause if they get wet, you're not allowed to give it to them. Cause they have gone on it. So. Here, this stuff smells really bad, but it's really good for them. So I'm just, putting it, I'm just, put, I'm just doing it really slow because I don't want to get it all over the place. Yeah. So yeah. It's like it blocks, but you could just rip that apart like you do, like when you squeeze it like this in the bedding. 
that video will be due soon. So maybe tomorrow. So it looks pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's pretty neat. It looks pretty cool. It's okay. pretty cool. You're gonna have to put about two to four inches, but just don't fill it up to the top because this cage is not that big. So I will prefer about two inches for this because you don't want to like use all of it in one use. It's probably good for about three to six uses. Pretty cool, kind of show them. This is what the container looks like. Cool. But I wouldn't. Yeah, you can make your own if like this. likes to sleep, I really like think you should put a lot in. Two, two inches. Two inches is good for like. No, that's not you. Okay. Don't take yourself out. So that should be good. Here. Pretty neat. No, loves being to like warm and stuff. No likes to dig, so like he likes to go under it and dig. Like he just goes and puts his head under it. So let's see how he likes it. No, no. So the next part. So doesn't change. The next part, um. I'm gonna put it back now. Um, I'm gonna put the things back together. Wait, you have to clean it. But now, of course, we're gonna clean the wheel. Well, yeah. We're gonna, Katie will clean the wheel while I put this back together. Just stay in there still. So you you're gonna, gonna put, put your hamster in while you're doing this. You could cook. You just don't. Could. You want. But now, when you're doing the wheel, she has to show you what she's doing right now. Start putting your cage back together. Oh, Close okay. the door so your hamster can get out. We have four minutes, so this, this is going to be continued. Mm -hmm. so, so, I'm going to start putting it back together. We have four minutes. So now, I'm putting the dot around the wheel, but not too much. So now, we're going to let... Okay, what are you on. doing? You're going to put dot and hot water on it, but not a lot of dot. So now, you're doing that. So, yep. Make them all right here. We'll put the top back on. So, we're going to continue it because we don't have much time left to record. Yeah, we're all like long, very long. So, yeah. So, watch part two to see how to clean a hamster cage. Bye. Bye, guys.